So in this video I'm going to show you how to quiet down your power supply fan. Now this the XT60 plug here that it's out of an ender. And um, so a lot of the noise from the power supply comes from the cooling fan and um, originally a lot of these power supplies came with a thermal switch that made the fan only come on when it was getting too hot and it would come on, cool the, the unit down, and then the fan would shut off again. So it seems like a lot of manufacturers took that out to save on parts and costs. So um, unfortunately I've already done the mod. That video didn't come out so this is a reshoot. So you're not going to see the the mod itself, but it's easily explained and I'll show you how to do it. So we start with taking off the cover here that covers up the mains. And then there are two bolts on either side, two screws that need to come off. So we can take these guys out. Alright, so you'll have to cut this sticker here with a razor blade, um, and then this should just lift right out. And uh, we can see down here is the, the plug for the fan, and you know there's some red goo on there that they use to secure it. So um, you just unplug the fan, and then this wire here is covered in some black heat shrink tube. You have the, you know the the positive wire and the negative wire. Um, and all I did here was strip back the sheathing a little and snip the the negative wire, strip back the wires, and um, install this thermal switch here. I'll move it up close so you can take a look. So it uh, pigtails out and we just splice these on and then use some, some heat shrink here to seal everything. Um, and I did solder the, both of the connections. You can just twist them on and secure them with heat shrink or tape, but um, optimally you'd like to solder them on. So what are we installing here? This is a thermal switch. It is a, uh, a KSD 9700. And there's a bunch of these models around in um, multiple temperature ratings. This specific one is rated at 45C and it's a normally open switch. And normally open means when um, when the heat, when the temperature in the power supply is less than 45 degrees C, the switch is open, meaning there's no contact being made, so that means that the fan is off. And then once the temperature reaches over 45 C, the switch turns on, it closes the contactors, and then power goes to the fan, and um, the unit cools down, and then the switch opens again. So. Uh, like I said, it's a very basic modification. We just splice uh, the switch into the negative line, solder it, heat shrink tube to protect it, and then um, we need to affix the thermal switch um, somewhere within the case where it's out of the way, but where it'll also pick up the heat. Um, so uh, I've seen 
some people put it in this coil here. Um, there's a nice heat sink right here that's kind of out of the way, so I used some some heat sink plaster and I'll have links to all of these in the description. So the heat sink plaster is made to um, transfer the heat between the two items um, and, and this is it's a plaster so it gets hard and it turns into like a hard glue as opposed to thermal paste which um, is stays soft it doesn't harden so um, I affixed it to this heat sink right here and then just use some captain tape to to secure it um, you can remove the tape after it dries. I'm just going to leave it on there. It's not in the way. Uh, make sure that you plug your fan back in and then um, you can reassemble the unit. And put the screws back in. So one other thing to note is um, this is where your mains are connected and also the output to the XT60 connector. Um, just check these connections and make sure they're all tightened up and snug. Give them a, you know, a quick uh, twist with the screwdriver to make sure everything's tight. You know, if one of these mains connections gets a little loose, it could arc and... Um, cause the smoke or a fire or burn up your uh, your power supply so it's always good to check those connections and make sure that they are uh, that they're tight every once in a while and we need to put the mains protective cover back on these two allen screws Make sure you tighten these up. Quick quarter turn on there, um, and then we can test the unit. If we plug it in and we turn it on, we can see we have a green light there indicating power. And if you look, the fan is not spinning. So, um, now to test this, if you had it in your printer, you might want to uh, set a high temperature on the bed or, you know, start a long print. And within the first five or ten minutes, normally this fan will turn on. If you um, give me a couple seconds, I'll be right back. I will use a heat gun to warm up this case and then we'll confirm that the switch is functional. So I gave the power supply a little extra help, warmed it up with a heat gun, and we can see now the fan is spinning, and it'll run for a minute or two, and then you normally hear a little click, and the fan shuts off, so let's see how long that takes. You heard that click or pop a few seconds ago. That's the thermal switch opening again. And we can see that the fan has stopped spinning. 
and this completes the modification of the power supply fan. Now I have this thermal switch installed in three or four of my 3D printers. They've been running for several months like this and I have not had any issues whatsoever. I hope you found this video informative. If you have, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also in the description below you will find links to the items I used to complete this modification and also affiliate links for Amazon. Please use those links to support this channel. Thanks so much.